hello thanks for stopping by the sister cousins lifestyle channel my name is sandy and in today's video we are decorating the living room for the christmas season if you haven't seen my last video that's when i did my entryway so if you've not checked out that video be sure that once you're done here today you go on over there and check that out as well because this is going to be a whole story throughout my house one video will lead to the other if that makes any sense so anyway today's video we're doing a living room we're using hunter green that's a color that I used last year and it was just so pretty. I just decided to bring it back again. Um, I'm going with a music themed Christmas tree. So if you'd like to see my interpretation of a music themed tree, then keep on watching because we're getting ready to get started. Come on. I'm going to start off by changing out these curtain panels. These have been up since the spring, so I'm going to go ahead and switch them out to a darker color, which is what I like to go with for the fall and winter months. I just feel like it's a lot cozier when you have the darker colors. So we're going to go ahead and switch these out. Now, I can tell you now this day ended up being something that I never imagined. Y'all, I fell off this ladder this day. <laughs> I'm okay, thank God, but I fell off the ladder and boy, oh boy, did I learn my lesson. I'm going to stay off this ladder and let somebody else do it, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean these blinds while I have the curtains down. So I'm going in with some Mr. Clean and I'm going to just use the old cedar mop to kind of wipe them down because they're very, very dusty. They haven't been... This hasn't happened to them since the last time I changed the curtains, so you can only imagine it. it's not good. <laughs> so we're just going to dust them on off. This is before the fall, by the way, so I'm, I'm just doing all kinds of things now. Little did I know what was to come in just a few minutes. <laughs> I really love this old cedar mop. It is just so versatile. I've seen people clean their walls with them as well. Um, I've never really tried that, but I definitely do my baseboards. I do my blinds. I'll do my tub. I mop the floor, obviously. It is a great investment, and I really do like it. And my window seals. I have a lot of projects on my list that I need to have done. Like these windows need to be professionally clean. They are absolutely horrendous, but that's a whole nother story. We're going in now with these velvet panels in the hunter green color. These are from Nice Town. This is the second year that I am using them and I absolutely love them. They washed perfectly. Um, once I took them down after last winter season and they are ready to go. They have a few wrinkles in them, but I'm not going to worry about them. They will fall out over time and it's perfectly fine. I just need to play around with them a little bit so that they kind of hang the way that I want them to hang with the pleats in them. So that's something that I'll work with over time to get them the way that they are. I probably should use curtain hooks. I think that helps with them. But now I'm switching these out and I'm absolutely loving the look of them. So now I'm going in and I'm removing my branches or stems that I had down here for the fall season so that I can get this cocktail table all set for this upcoming holiday season. Once I get everything off the table, there's another job that I definitely do not enjoy doing that I need to get done today. And that is to tackle my ceiling fan. It is amazing how quickly they can become a mess. So I'm taking my same duster here and I'm going to clean it off. Now I could go in also with my old cedar mop to kind of mop it to kind of shine it back up or whatever, but I'm not that um, ambitious today. So we're just going to dust it off and keep it moving. I'm going to go ahead and take everything off of my side table and also out of my fireplace credenza, remove everything off of here because now it really needs a good dusting. So I'm just going to go in with some Pledge multi-purpose cleaner and just kind of clean this uh, credenza off and get the dust out of it. This credenza, it's nice and everything. I like the way that it looks, the modern style, but it definitely has a lot of chipping and little marks on it. So I need to get some of that little, uh, that marking uh, touch up pen and kind of get those spots. So if you see little spots on there, they're probably going to look like dust. It ain't dust. I cleaned it off really, really well. So I'm going in with a um, 
coffee table book. I put the this bowl up here and then I'm just doing this branch and I've done this in a previous video, but I, and I really, really liked it. So I want to bring one into this space as well. So I'm going to play around with this and kind of fluff it out and kind of hide the stems and everything. But, um, I had an idea of how I wanted to style this. So I'm getting the greenery all together. And then we're going to go in with some pine cones in this bowl to kind of fill it in. It will probably take me days to get the greenery the way that I want it, but I'm okay with it for now. I'll do adjustments as I need. So I have a whole bag here um, full of pine cones, most of which I found on the ground. And I took them and did DIYs on them, adding like a uh, snow effect of them. Some of them I have a little gold glitter on them, all kinds of things. So if you see pine cones around on the ground and you uh, find that you like this look that I'm creating, um, definitely get them. Um, do your little DIY on them. They are perfect for decorating, for vase fillers, things like that. You can add them to your Christmas trees. There's so many different things that you can do with them. But for today, we're going to go ahead and use them to fill in this bowl. And there's definitely no rhyme or reason for how I placed them in here. This was an old pick that I had. And I'm going to actually take it and take this greenery off because it's, it's seen better days and it, it's about done. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. But I'm still going to use my pine cone. I don't let anything go to waste like this. That's a perfectly good pine cone. So we're going to cut that off and we're going to put that pine cone right on in this bowl. Yes, we are. Look at there. It's nothing wrong with it. Just turn it this way and it looks perfect. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and I'm pick, picking through my little bag here to see which other uh, pine cones I want to use and how I want them to sit. And I think it turned out just beautiful for now. You know, I may go back and add some more, whatever, play around with it. But I really like the way that it's come together. So now I need to go ahead and move on to the rest of this fireplace uh, credenza. And I'm going to go ahead and put these black boxes in here. That's where I kind of hide my remote control. So I love to have decorative boxes around because they are perfect for concealing things. And I'm kind of skipping around. I did one shelf. Now I'm going back to the top here. I'm just placing these two candles here. I got this particular candle here from Anthropology, And I was in Home Goods the other day and saw one that is a perfect dupe for the Anthropology uh, candle. So if you're interested in it and don't want to pay that Anthropology uh, price, Home Goods does have them for $12.99. So we're going in here with another coffee table book and a bell. I have a lot of these bells around. This one has that uh, rope on them. Some of them I've taken the rope off, but I think I'm going to just leave that one on there. And then I'm going to put a coffee table book here as well and then find something to go on top of that. And I think I'm going to go in with another book. I just love that book here. And then I'm going in with yet another book. I mean, they're shelves, so that's the best thing to put in there. Um, to decorate a space and I just have this little vase here so we got the bell up top and then we're putting another bell on this side and I think that'll complete this uh, fireplace console and I really like the way that it looks very minimalist very basic then I'm going in with this um, book in here I kind of played myself with this when I bought it at home goods thinking and they only had one so I thought I'd find the other one eventually never did so we just use it as a little decor piece because I don't have the match to it the mate to it so anywho this is how the fireplace console has come together and I am really liking it so far so now I'm going to go into the rest of the living room here and I have these pillow covers that I've had for several years now and I'm just going to go ahead and put the pillow in here these are a faux leather and they are from Amazon and they are in the hunter green which is the color that I am going with so I'm just putting this pillow down in here and um, you know to add that pop of green onto my sofa and my chair I use a larger insert than the pillow cover because I like a very full pillow but boy does it make it hard to get it on there but it will fit in here and we'll just fluff and play with it and to get the look that I want to achieve I love these pillow covers they are the faux leather and kind of has like a, a print to, through it I don't know if it's crocodile or whatever but it's all faux so we're just going to go ahead and place that here in back of the other pillow and um, yeah I really like adding that darker color here to match with the, the curtain panels. And then I have this green velvet, faux velvet type of um, pillow that I'm going to use on the other side. 
and that's going to complete the look here. Now you see that big bulky blanket here. That is my trusty blanket that I use every single day. I just love cuddling up with that thing, but it is kind of unsightly there on that sofa. I recognize that. So we're going to go ahead and get that up and move that over to the chair and put something a little bit nicer on the sofa there. But this blanket is not going far because I'm going to need that. Once I sit down for the evening, that is what I am going to relax with. So I have this um, hunter green blanket or throw that I've had also for several years. And it came from Amazon. And I'm just going to throw it across the sofa. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. It just needs to look comfortable. Then I have this travertine base. You all seen me haul this um, several weeks ago. And I have this uh, Norfolk pine greenery here that I have put in here. I'm going to get a couple more stems to put in there to kind of fill it out. And that's what I'm going to have on this section of the coffee table. These stems are from Kirkland. They have them every year. I've picked up a few um, in past years, and then I picked up um, one more this year to complete so that I can get a more full look that I like. I think they are $9.99 when you can get them. They sell out really, really quickly, but they're very, very lifelike, and they're really easy to kind of shape them and everything, so they're really, really nice. I like them, and they are a good dupe to the afloral uh, green stems that are probably three times the price. So now we're going to come in with some coffee table books and then a couple of candle holders and then we'll top it off with um, my travertine decor piece that I got from Crate and Barrel. These uh, brass candle holders are from Ballard Designs. I absolutely love them. One is taller than the other so I'm putting the shorter one on top of the books and the taller one directly on the table. I love the minimalist style here. I love the addition of the hunter green. It is very, very nice. I feel that it is warm and cozy, and I'm really liking the way that it turned out. So now it's time to address the star of the show, which is my music-themed Christmas tree. So I'm going in with some green velvet ribbon that I've had for some time. I reuse my ribbon year after year. I'm not an expert on putting in the ribbon, so I just cut it into small pieces and just kind of tuck them in however I can get them in. I'm um, just trying not for the ends to show on it. So I just kind of tuck in and kind of make little loops throughout the tree. Some people go in a pattern to have them all kind of going um, in a certain you know, style around the tree. I kind of like mine to just kind of be sporadically placed through the tree. So I do that. Um, and then I'm going to go in with some of my ornaments. And this is the music themed tree. So you will see um how i incorporate my music in the tree but i'm just getting some of these larger ornaments here in the tree and i'm just kind of doing a technique of tucking some of them inside and then some of them are going outside on the actual tree branches this is my second year for the music theme tree so i did add additional instruments and ornaments into my collection for this year i'm pretty sure i will go in with this theme next year as well so i have this piece this is something that i thrifted and i really really liked it and i wanted it to be my tree topper the only thing is this is extremely heavy and so i am trying to find a solution for how to do that i think i'm going to end up using some fishing wire but for right now I'm just going to use this small starburst topper for the tree. I'm just kind of putting it on here as a placeholder. It's kind of crooked, so just be mindful that there, you know, will be some things done later if I can pull it off. But I really like the big boldness of that thrifted piece. So this uh, ornament here is from uh, Five and Below, and it was blue and all different kind of colors. So I just painted that gold. And then these little drums are from Walmart. This horn here is thrifted. I just picked that one up most recently. I was really happy to pick that one up from a thrift store for $11. And then there's another one of the ukuleles that is from Five Below. My music ornament here is from um, Peppermint Forest, a local Christmas store here in North Carolina. 
This horn is from Home Goods a couple years ago, and I have a lot of music symbols here that I picked up over the years, Home Goods at home, different places like that. This horn here, my uh, or trumpet, whatever that is, my sister ordered from Amazon for my grandson, but ended up not giving it to him for some reason. But anyway, I got it, painted it, and included it on this year's tree. Um, and then I just have a lot of bells on here. This is an ornament that I've had since my son was a little boy. So um, since it is in music, a musical instrument, I decided to include it on this tree. This huge ornament is from Ross. Um, yeah, so that is the tree. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh. Well guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you found it inspirational. I hope that you found some ideas and something that you might want to do when you began decorating your home for this holiday season. And if you did find something that you enjoyed about this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Also, if we're not currently connected, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so that we can stay connected. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. And to all of my returning family members, thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope to see you all over here on my next one. Bye-bye. Oh